Hey guys, it's me, Grave Moth, and uh, I'm really excited about today's video. I have this awesome package, which looks really ugly because it has customs documents on it, and also customs opened my box and put this green uh, customs tape all over it. And it was really hard to open. I cut my hand because they put three layers of this tape on it. Thanks, US uh, Homeland Security. So let's get into it. The um, box, when you open it up, it has this card in it. It faces up this way. Um, this box is from Milk Makeup, which I am so excited about. It says Milk Makeup's home is Milk Studios, a photo studio in NY and LA. We take the cool creativity we see behind the scenes every day and infuse that into the products we make. Our community, that's you, is our inspo and we celebrate beauty for everyone. We see personal style and experimentation as the ultimate forms of self-expression. It's not just about how you create your looks, it's what you do in it that matters. At Milk Makeup, there are no rules. Hell yeah, boy. That sounds like me. So on the back it says, hey, there's nothing better than coming home to a package. True. So we wanted to welcome you to the Milk Makeup Studio fam by sending our greatest hits your way. These are our best sellers, the core products that are nearest and dearest to our hearts. Though if anyone asks, we love them all equally. Aww. So I was really excited to see, because I have already looked at this box because it's been sitting here for three days now since I had my eye infection and I could not help myself. I had to look at it. I haven't swatched anything except for the tattoo stamp, but I have looked at it all. The, I'll just put these cards back in. The box looks like this, which is so beautiful. I think it's so cute. Slide out really nicely. The cards I love because not all brands do something like this. It has a little informational card about each product and then a photo on the back. And there's one for each product, which is really cool. So I'm going to be reading these as I look at each product and talk about it. Ooh, I don't know where to start. I'm so excited. This uh, milk makeup unboxing is going to be in two parts. The first part is this video where I'm going to be trying half of the box and uh, plain. I'm going to be doing a cute uh, Halloween look inspired by one of my favourite makeup artists. I know I'm going to butcher pronouncing her name because of my accent and also because her name is French. It's Annabelle without the B basically is how it's spelt, like Anna L, but I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but her username is her name and I don't really know how to pronounce it. I don't want to mess it up so I'm going to put it here somewhere uh, but it is inspired by her and I love her artistry so much and she's just also so beautiful. So I'm doing a cute little orange and brown eye look inspired by her and I'm going to tweak it a little bit because I don't have any chunky glitter so I'm going to tweak it my way. Also, I thought I would note that it says in the box here that all products are cruelty free, paraben free, and 100% vegan, which is so fucking cool. Let's get in these little cards here and read what it says. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be using is the foundation. Uh, this is the image that they've used on the back. Uh, it's the Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. Blur's got you covered. An oil-free, silicon-free, full coverage foundation with a modern matte finish and super lightweight feel. Ideal for normal to oily skin types. That's good because that's the kind of skin type I have. Uh, an ultra lightweight, full coverage, modern matte liquid foundation. Blurs, packed with blurring microspheres. Tiny powder filled spheres that diffuse the light and leave your skin with a soft focus effect. Shake vigorously to activate blurring microspheres. Okay, I didn't think it was that fancy. We'll find out. Feels like a serum. Highly pigmented formula has a serum-like feel. One to two drops is all you need for a full face. Mm, Alright, because I was wondering about the small amount of packaging, so that's really cool. And it says cruelty-free, paraben-free, vegan, silicon-free, oil-free, gluten-free. What light? What shade is this? Porcelain. Ooh. Ooh, it is really liquidy. Okay. There you go, I'm shaking it to activate the spheres. 
All right. Let's get into it. So I've got a new Real Techniques blender, so that way there's no old foundation on it or anything like that, so that we can see the true product. So I'm going to squeeze a tiny little bit out because they said only, oh, I like that end. Now I can squeeze it right onto my face. They said only like one to two drops, so I'm going to test that theory. Oh, it is very liquidy. Okay. Mm -mm. Hmm. I'm so interested. Oh yeah, I can see it on that side. Because I did a slightly bigger drop on this side. That looks really nice. Like, it literally looks like my skin. I'm glad that I do have a few blemishes going on at the moment so that I can see the true effect of the product. It smells really nice too. It is very... Oh, it smells beautiful. I just got a whiff of a huge whiff of it. Mmm. It smells very skin carey, Like this... It feels like it's good for my skin. Oh, I forgot to put the primer on. Damn it. That's alright. I'll use the primer. I'm definitely using the primer in my other video anyway. I really like this. It's a really good colour match for me, which I'm very happy about. I need more for my chin area. It smells really good. Oh, I love that smell. It is kind of buildable too. Like, when I had less, I probably could have blended that out and just gone for like a really light coverage moment if that's what I wanted I'm kind of leaving it medium coverage like I could build it more and get more coverage out of it but I just don't like I don't, know, I don't really feel like I need it that's a really pretty I really like it it's a perfect colour match for me and uh, the finish is really nice it looks really skin like like I don't even really look like I'm wearing anything at all this is awesome let's go on to the concealer so where's the colour flex on them it says on the front and this is the picture we got it says flex concealer, flex on them. A medium to full coverage, lightweight, long wear concealer that covers, calms, and flexes. Covers. Long wear, medium to full coverage formula that can take on anything you've got, from under eyes to over blemishes. Flexes. Bends into skin without caking or creasing, thanks to a combo of tiny bendable spheres and elastic marshmallow root powder. Ooh, okay, interesting. Calms. Blue Lotus moisturizers and chamomile calms redness to soothe and cover even the most sensitive acne skin. Mm, Alright, cool. Did I get porcelain again? It doesn't say. Oh, it doesn't mean it's gonna stick on. Yeah, porcelain again. Alright, well. Apply directly under eyes or on top of blemishes and problem areas. Blend with fingertips. Well, we don't do that here. What did the foundation say? Shake to activate, apply one to two drops, use your tool of choice. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to blend with my blender because that's what I like to do. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to have a squeezy tip. It's got a wand. Oh, that is so cute. I like that it's still got the, uh, you know, like squeezy tube packaging even though it's got a wand in it that's really cute and I feel like you could really get all of it out because you can move the wand right deep down that is so cool because they've made like a really decently long wand too they haven't tried to you know steal our coin by making a short wand so that you can't get to the product at the end right let's blend good. It was looking a little dark, but once you blend it out, it looks really nice. Looking really natural as well. So, next is the powder.
powder, which I've got translucent white. Where's the card for that bad boy? <clears throat> We've got this girl, I love her hair. The white streak, really cool. Oh, she's got vitiligo. I didn't notice it at first, but actually at the top of her head here, she has a vitiligo patch, so the hair's actually part of that. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't even realize that. It's really cool that they're including people with skin conditions like that in their campaigns. Very inclusive. Blur plus set. Matte loose setting powder. Blur set go. Blur and set is a lightweight setting powder that cuts shine, not glow. Ooh, okay. Cool. The tack free silicon free formula absorbs oil, keeps makeup locked in place, and leaves a matte finish. Ooh. Avocado powder and hyaluronic acid combine for smooth skin that allows powder to lay without setting into fine lines. Okay, well that's good because my powder always sets into my lines. So let's see what happens. It has this weird sponge. I'm not digging it. It feels really not that nice. This is nice. This is very nice. I love this component. It's got a little sticker that says blur, set, go. So you open it up and it's actually... Oh, okay. So it's got like a, um, I don't know how you describe it. It's almost like a piece of fishnet just on top. I like to use brushes for my powder, so I'm not sure how this is going to work, but we'll see. Nice. I think what I want to do is just try and tip some into the lid. Yeah, that's not really working, it's just kind of going everywhere. I wonder if I can take this top part off. Probably, but probably not without breaking it. I could just cut this spongy bit, but I like it too much. It's so cute. It's like a little... I feel like I'm going to have to because I like to use brushes. Brushes, 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 powder brushes. I don't like to do the patting on. I don't like the way it goes. I'm just gonna cut it with my tiny scissors, but I don't know where my tiny scissors are. Really unhelpful. I'm gonna have to use my big scissors. This makes me sad, I don't wanna destroy it, but like, I need to get to the powder. Ooh, hurt my soul. Oh god, this really hurts my soul. I don't want to be doing this. I hate destroying it. I feel so bad. Whoops. Oh, the foundation's actually dry. It does have like a really skin-like finish because it's glowy, but it's actually dry. Like when I touch my face, none really comes off. That's cool. And I'm totally going to try wearing it uh, without setting it too because it actually dried down really nicely. And I like never ever do that. But I'm going to try it for milk because I love the finish that I've seen out of it so far. And milk seemed like that bitch. So, Alright, moving on. I'm not using any milk products now. <laughs> well, I'm going to use the mascara and the... Uh, stamp at the end but I've got to move on to the actual look itself. First I've got to plan out my eyebrows which I'm going to do with a light coloured eyeshadow. I'm just going to use a cream. Where's me brush? I'll just use this one. This is really helpful to do when you have no eyebrows because the eyeshadow is so light that you can just blend it away and pop on a little bit of concealer if you don't like the shape or if you make a mistake. You can even do it if you do have eyebrows. It's, uh, you know, not exclusive. So I like to do my eyebrows after my eyeshadow, but I wanted to know where my eyebrows are going to be so I know where to blend my eyeshadow to. Now that that's done, I'm going to start with this light orange colour which is from the Makeup Revolution Iconic Division Reloaded palette. You can use any light orange eyeshadow that you want to be honest. I'm going to be using a small fluffy brush and just starting in the crease 
and blending out towards my eyebrow. Alright, so I have to change my SD card because my other one's full apparently. So I've just started blending out because I'm going to be blending all the way out here because I'm doing an orange blush. basically just made a giant wing but I'm going to be connecting it down into my blush later once I get to that part what am I going to do next? Oops. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do some orange orange so I'm going to go for my sugar pill palette and we're going to use a flame point I'm just going to go right into the crease and then blend out. Not going over the lid because I'm going to be doing a cut crease and some other stuff later. Halo eye. So now I'm going to go on to blush. It looks like a pretty good colour match for the one she's using. I'm going to pop a little bit of uh, actual orange over the top. This is the LA Girl Just Blushing blush in Just For Fun. I love this colour. It's a really cute orange coral. gonna grab a little bit of flame point and just pop it over the top here just to make it a little bit more orangey toned a little bit less red looking I didn't do any contour yet I'll do that now because then I'll wash my nose as always my real techniques brush it's probably better that I did contour now because otherwise I would have been putting the blush over the top of the contour and then I would have made it look muddy whereas now I can just go around it. I'm going to contour my nose, so I'm going to my flat brush like I always do. I'm just going to use my normal powder because I don't want to tip out more of the blur and set. Now time to wash my nose. So next I'm going to start the cut crease business. So I think I'm just going to use some Kat Von D concealer. My best, because that's what I like to use for my cut crease bases, because it's very sticky. I think that's the colour brown. It's like a purpley brown. So I'm going to go with this shade from the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Visionary palette. So I'm just going to use a small... 
flat brush and just carve out my shape which is a round cut crease. the domed brush on this deep plum shade just go all in. not nearly as pigmented as I want so I'm just gonna use skull Mr. Finger to pack it on. Now that is done. I believe there's more, some more purple under the eye. Yeah okay so I'm gonna do that with my little Packing brush. So there we go. My stargazer pigment. V-shape. Which I of course somehow managed to screw up. On that, I'm gonna add highlighter. So I'm gonna start off with uh, Regal from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit, and then I'm gonna go over the top with this extremely glowy powder that I have. Where is it? I'm 
blush onto my nose because I think it could be and try this mascara so where's the card I want to know what it's about so this is the push card Push Mascara, one hit for high volume. High volume mascara with conditioning, hemp derived cannabis oils, thickening heart shaped fibres, and pure pigment for a clump free, intense black finish. Naturally lit, conditioning, hemp derived cannabis oil fuses heart shaped fibres to lashes for thickness without the fallout. Okay. Well, let's try it out. I'm going to kill my lashes. I love how heavy the component is. It's my favorite. You can smell the cannabis oil a little bit. Oops, I got mascara in my eye. My wand is very cakey because I have taken it out a couple of times. I looked at it and then I smelt it and I made my boyfriend smell it because I thought it smelled really interesting. So that definitely contributed. When I first took it out, it wasn't as clumpy at all. But I definitely do like this one. It's thick. And it's black. And it makes my lashes arrive to the party. One thing I will say though is I don't really like the size of I don't really like the size of the wand. It's huge and It makes it hard, kind of hard to get the bottom washes. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Suede in Orange County to do this. Oops. And I'm also going to be using it on my lips. edge of my brows. I'm just going to wipe the brush on the back of my hand first because they're liquid suede. It does go quite far and I'm just going to blend what's already there. Now I'm going to go for my cat one knee eyebrow brush and just try and add some strokes in so now I'm gonna do the lip setting spray. Alright, so I'll set and fan. Okay, so I'm 
So I had to wait to do the tattoo stamp because yesterday I used it and then I sprayed it on my setting spray and it ran everywhere because I used so much setting spray. But... Yeah, I got it. I don't like to press too hard with it because otherwise I get worried it'll smudge. So instead I do it soft but then it doesn't fill in properly. Alright, so I just got my lashes. I'm going to be using Rogue and Rogue lashes in Slayer, which I'm so excited to try. And I've got my 3D gel. The way that I melt mine is I use a cup of hot water. It says to use warm, but warm didn't melt it for me, so I use hot. I've got to stick it in upside down, because otherwise the bottom half melts and the top doesn't. It's really annoying. And yes, you have to melt it before you use it, because it like is dried thick at room temperature. My lashes on real quick. I'm so excited to try these. I've always wanted to try these out. Yes, these lashes are so nice. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Look at the difference. Oh my god. Alright, let's check if my 3D gel is melted. It looks like it is. Yeah, got air bubbles going on, so that tells me that it's melted. Alright, I gotta grab out the rest of the stuff that I wanna put in the tears. I'm gonna put in some stars. Basically making my own chunky glitter mix because I don't have one. So I'm just squeezing some of the gel out onto my mixing plate, which is literally just a lid. And then I'm just adding what I want into it. I'm gonna mix it all around. This is so fun, now it's turning into like a glitter slime as it starts to dry. See? Glitter slime. So fun. This was the whole reason that I bought 3D gel so that I could do stuff like this. And I'm very excited. I think that's it. Now I'm gonna choose what wig I want, which I think I'm gonna do a black wig, to be honest, because it'll really make all of the colours pop. Okie dokie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am just going to do a quick little uh, review, I guess, of all the products. I haven't worn any of them for longer than when I've been wearing them now, so uh, it'll just be like a mini review. I'll have to do a full review when I actually like wear these out on my face for a day. These lashes, absolutely love. Super comfortable, super pretty. Uh, we've got the foundation. I really like this so far. Same with the concealer. Love the powder. I think it would be really good on its own if you just like, you know, going on some errands or doing something really quick and you just want to like get rid of the oiliness on your face and still have a really natural finish. And then the mascara I really liked. Not like super amazing to me, but I'm not really a big mascara fan like to me. Mascara is just mascara. I'm never really like blown away by it. Um, I think that's it. 
really thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i will see you again in my next video bye <laughs>